how this universe started, right? So this universe was, I'm sure you all know this, this universe was a, um, um, a single point of infinite density is what current physics tells us. And the single point of infinite density, it, it expanded. And when it expanded, it diversified into particles, heavier particles, lighter particles. And these particles, they diversified further. And some of these particles, they, they clumped together, right? And those particles formed the sun, some of them formed the earth. And on the earth, because of differences, diversities in physical conditions, which is different temperatures, some of these particles, they began traveling from one place to another on the planet. And they came together to form a cell. Um, first, they formed molecules. And then they formed uh, 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 compounds. And then they formed a cell. And so this cell diversified. So ultimately, that same particle which started to form this universe, uh, uh, which we are uh, well currently unaware of, of what that particle was, um, that same particle uh, came together to form us many years later, and here I am, and I'm talking to you guys. And so diversity is not something which um, uh, is a, a subject which is, I mean, yeah, diversity is inevitable. Forget about inevitable, you are born because of diversity. Our parents are one woman and one man. They're two different uh, genders. So we're born from two different genders. Diversity is intrinsic to us. We are born from it, right? So we don't have to argue or deliberate as to is diversity present? Is it good? Diversity is evolution, right? So diversity is is evolution in action. For things to grow, for things to uh, 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 travel from one place to another, they evolve and they diversify, they change. So now I want to sort of do an experiment. Are you guys sitting with your friends? Relatively? Lagbhag? Well, I'm going to ask you about it. I'm going to ask you about it. Yes, I'm going to ask you about it. Yeah? Some friends are closer to you than the other people who are going to be more strange. Normally, it's like this. Okay, so it's simple. So, I'll ask you a question. I want you to raise a hand if the answer is yes. And I want you to say, do nothing if the answer is no. Okay, so, it's a bit personal, but answer these questions honestly. Um, if you're too shy, you don't have to answer the question. It's okay. No one's judging. There's no problem. So, um, who loves to dance? Okay. And uh, who loves history as a subject? Okay. Who feels left out sometimes? Okay. Who loves in peace armor? Good. So, did you guys notice that it wasn't often your best friends who you shared common things with? Right? So, if your best friend is next to you, he didn't necessarily raise his hand or her hand to do everything you like. So, essentially, you shared much more in common in this particular experiment with someone who you were not that familiar with. You understand? So, diversity is, is not a choice. It's not a, a thing we, we can refuse. Diversity is us. We're born from diversity. Now I'll just come to diversity because you don't have much time. And up her rose film they do, up her rose ads they do, her rose uh, uh, newspaper made the uh, uh, ads and there's there's uh, Netflix now, there's Amazon, there's uh, cinema halls, there's YouTube, and we watch so much content. And now I want to talk about diversity in this. How many superhero films have you guys seen about women? How many? Just see a number. So I'm gonna say. How many? One, two? Yeah, and so how many superhero guys, uh, films have you seen about men? Why? Uh, what is the population of women on this planet, vis a vis men? Roughly 48% to 52%, about. I mean, that's why I might be off, could be wrong, but uh, I think it's roughly that. Why are there only one, one or two, I don't know, Wonder Woman? Why is there only Wonder Woman in my age memory? Why is there um, not more diversity? The superheroes that are presented to us. It's strange, no? Why in a country where 22% uh, of people, I might be wrong about that, are Dalits? And when I say Dalits, uh, um, not uh, underprivileged, I don't want to call it, let's just say there's, there's a diverse sect of people we call it Dalits. And one fifth of us are Dalits in this country. We make 1500 films in a year, we make so many television shows in a year. 
about all of 90% of these represent a very narrow class of society. You guys watch it, you guys are seriously what you see it. Do these films represent a majority of the society? They don't. Exactly, right? Do we have films about carpenters and laborers? Do we have films about chefs? No, all our, all our heroes are uh, normally middle class men working in office jobs with emotional problems and romantic problems. But if you go on the street, people want a food to eat. Our films are not talking about this. Right? So essentially, the diversity that exists within our country, our art is not showing this diversity. Our art is showing something else. Our art is showing an image of escape, which is fun, which is good. Um, I had a professor in college uh, in Montreal who, who said something which might completely be wrong. Uh, it, uh, he said, the art a society makes, be it sculpture or dance or be it uh, cinema, it is ultimately a reflection of that society. Even if it's escape, even if I make a, 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 a film about uh, a phoenix coming out from the sun, and the phoenix comes out from the sun and it swallows a whole planet, and it swallows a planet and it moves to another solar system. This is still coming from the mind of the creator. So ultimately it reflects the time he was within, which he wanted to escape to create a story like this. 95% of Indian cinema is escapist. We want to not talk about our problems. We don't want to discuss what is out there in the street because we are living such hard lives, majority of us, that we don't want to deliberate over this. We don't want to go to the theater and be like, yeah, ये कहानी है देखो अपने देश में गरीबी है लोग मर रहे हैं we don't want to see this we want to go we want to see entertainment we want to see good action we want to see good romance because we want to be distracted from this life you understand right now what happens is what my professor told me the moment 90% of the art a society makes is just to escape that society is slowly going mad unfortunately that is the state of Indian society today. We are trying to run away from our reality and not us because we want to but the people who are making the films, uh, where the money is coming from, um, the people who are running politics like my friend uh, Ablok was saying, it is in their interest, it is in their benefit to keep things the way they are, to divide you, to show you that that person is different from you and from your diversity you find your weaknesses because it's a very easy way to divide and rule. There's a chapter in history, divide and rule. The Britishers came, they divided us and they ruled. The same thing is happening again, all over again, from different leaders. It is happening as we speak, and you guys are the only ones who can stop it. There is, there is no other. It's all up to you guys. I, I, I promise you that, because the rest try and they fail. So the young man too. And so you guys have to now see in media, in films, is the diversity that exists around you, is it being represented actually? Are films showing the reality around you? Are they showing a gay man in a film um, uh, which is not about gay men? Are they showing him just as a normal gay man going to office having normal problems? Are they showing a woman in a film? Okay, there's a test called the Bechtel test. Okay, this, it's called the Bechtel test. It was made by a woman called Alison Bechtel. Um, this test is simple. When you watch a movie, Ask two questions when you see a woman in a movie. Is this woman talking about a man? Or is this woman talking about the conflict of a man? 60% of films fail this question test. So that means 60% of cinema when a woman is on screen, she's either talking about a man or she's talking about the conflicts of a man or what is happening in Cinema mein nahi discuss hota, us ki problems kya hai, us ke karme kya hota, nahi, something to do with the man. So, this is the best test. Similarly, there's a test for race. Similarly, there's a test for, uh, 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 for sexual preference. So, are we depicting, uh, haan, hum Dalit dikha rahe hain in picture mein, haan, hum uh, transgender dikha rahe hain, par kya hum usse kure trishyam dikha rahe hain, are we showing them to their full capacity, are we showing one dimension of a woman, are we showing one dimension of a Dalit? Is the Dalit always dependent on the hero? Is the Dalit always a downtrodden character? Does he have aspirations of his, his own? Or does he rely on the hero to bring him up? If you watch a lot of Indian cinema, yes, there are Dalits presented. Yes, there are women there. But they ultimately depend on the hero to sort of lift them up and, and save their lives, which is very unfortunate. The moment we have cinema, the moment we have art representing our country the way 
It is where uh, a woman's aspirations are uh, as much uh, of a problem for her as are a man's aspirations for him. You will figure out that there are less rapes. You will figure out that we are more um, accepting of each other because our art is reflecting us and we get a confirmation of who we are. We're not trying to run away from our problems. We are just being made aware of them. Um, when we made a film called Brahman Naman, um, I made this film, um, um, I don't much like talking about my work, it's, it's, it's bizarre and it's biased, but we made a film called Brahman Naman and this film is about a Brahman boy um, from Bangalore who does all sorts of nefarious things. He drinks alcohol and uh, he does terrible things and I, I don't want to mention them right now. And uh, we took this movie to the censor board and the censor board said, we never let this movie release. And uh, we asked why and they said, Brahmins don't behave this way. I have many Brahmin friends and a lot of them drink, a lot of them curse. Now, I try to understand uh, uh, from this man why he said uh, you cannot show Brahmins this way in, in movies. He said the people when they see it, they will acquire this behavior. Right? I I disagree with that man. It's not showing something that that makes you copy it or give it. It's it's how it's shown. Right? So if I if I um, uh, what's your name? Sorry? Aryan. If I say um, Aryan, I love you in that. Did it feel like I'm saying I love you? So did the meaning of the word have any effect? No, you know, like Aryan, I love you. Obviously, he doesn't love you. It's not what you say of him or what you show of him, it's how you see it. Right? So it's not the fact that you represent or you show a woman on screen, it's how are you showing the woman on screen. Yes, there is an item song, there's a big discussion about item songs. Uh, Leading to more misog you know, misogyny, or are, are they not? It's how you shoot a song that leads to misogyny. It's how you treat your lenses, how your camera moves, where you place your camera, how you show the movement. There are many factors involved. It's not as black and white as does a song increase the uh, effects of it. Yeah, does it increase misogyny? It's not like that. So, what I want you guys to do is whenever you watch something, make sure why it's being shown to you. Brainwashing through images is a very easy thing to do. And cinema is only 100 years old. Um, it is uh, perhaps one of the most diverse art forms that exists. Dance is, is nearly 3,500 years old. We have dance in all from Monja to Jodaro and Kadapa. Even before that, we have evidence of dance forms. Um, um, so dance is incredibly old, and cinema is only 100 years old. And it is being used to divide you because it's easy and you love it. You love cinema. We love it. I love it. And it's very easy. Um, um, as a medium to be used to. Well, for the interests of people who don't share your interest, who don't share love, and who don't care about diversity, they want factories working. They don't want different kind of people, they don't want imagination, they don't want different creativity, they want a machine, and they will turn you into a machine unless you are very well aware of what you've been shown. So I want to leave you with the hope that you guys will save us and you guys will be able to see if something that's been shown to you is representing diversity in that fashion. Thank you so much. That's what I'm